final week of the regular season for our local high school basketball teams. And as the stakes continue to rise, we have teams hitting the court playing in games with all types of playoff implications. Let's get over to Butler, where the Bulldogs played a classic against their crosstown rivals, the Westside Patriots. Let's jump straight into the fourth quarter. Marcus Scurry Jr. is going to get the ball in the corner on the end around, and then he ends up knocking down this three. You know he is cash from three point land tying the game at 35 with less than seven to go a couple of minutes later off the air ball DeMarco Middleton goes coast to coast and gets the contested layup to fall putting West Side back on top by two with less than a minute to go with some great ball movement Kwame Bridges drives great baseline kisses that ball off the glass tying the game at 41 with 35 seconds left West Side had a chance to win at the buzzer but they couldn't get a shot off in time so that means that we're going to overtime and with the game on the line Butler got aggressive Bridges his floater is no good but Roosevelt Brown is there for the putback giving Butler the lead and the Bulldogs rode that momentum to victory the ability to knock down multiple clutch free throws and play some great defense when they needed to helped Butler take down the two time defending state champs for the second time this season 53 to 49. Across state lines in South Carolina, the Silver Bluff girls basketball team has done it again by defeating Strom Thurmond 57 to 25. The Lady Bulldogs won their 18th game in a row and secured their fourth consecutive region championship. Here's what head coach Jason Red had to say about his team's ability to get the job done once again. This team is special. Um, I've been saying that for the past few years. We've got what it takes to make it all the way. We just got to stay locked in and stay focused. And I, I really do believe we can be back. I, I've got a T-shirt. I, I, I ordered it and I, I wore it for him the other day. And I told him, it says, play for March. That's where we want to be. We want to still be playing basketball in March. On Friday, the Bluff will have the opportunity to improve their record into 20-1 and one on the season in their final game of the regular season.